Hey guys, Deer Camp this year in uh, the National Forest here in Virginia. I wanted to do a little quick video on the Blue Ridge Stove Works Elite AT Stove Kit. It's a product that we've started using in our deer camps. We do a lot of hiking deep into the mountains and it's just ultra lightweight and easy to use. Just show you real quick what it's made of. Comes with a one cup container to eat out of or, or use as, for storage. This is actually the stove for the kit. Comes with a four cup container that uh, has measurements on it so that uh, if, you, if you're boiling water or need to determine uh, amounts of foods, it's, it's marked on the four cup container. Has a windscreen, a lid for your cook pot. Inside of here I have my eating utensils, knife, fork, and spoon. Two bottles of fuel, four ounce bottles of fuel, and it uses alcohol as a as a fuel um, and a lighter to light it off with. Also has a uh, pot stand, which is uh, basically just a wire mesh screen that, um, to hold your pot up when, you, when you're cooking. Um, let me get started here and show you a little bit more about it. The uh, the little stove here has a threaded thumb screw in the top, has jets around the inside lip of the top of the stove, and it has a wick around the outside of the stove body, which is, you, you place the alcohol on that wick, and you, you fill it full of alcohol, you put the thumb screw back, and basically what happens is, is the uh, alcohol that's burning on the wick heats the body of the stove, causes the vapors to come off of the alcohol inside the, fuel, the uh, stove body, and they light themselves and it burns just like a cooktop stove at home. Uh, let's, let's light this thing off and show you how it works. Okay guys, what I got here is my stove. I got the thumb screw out of it. I'm putting just a little bit of fuel around the wick of the stove. I'm gonna fill the stove with anywhere from half an ounce to about an ounce of fuel. Uh, it'll hold up to an ounce and a half of fuel actually. And we'll put a little bit more in it. That's about an ounce of fuel. We'll put my thumb screw back in it. And I'm gonna light it off, I light the wick. I don't know if you can see that wick burning, but the wick is burning. And what the wick is doing is it is heating the fuel body. And once that fuel body gets hot, if you notice it just now, the wick kind of went out and now the, the jets are burning. I'm gonna put this windscreen around it because it's very windy out here today. We are out in the woods. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, set this up and begin cooking now. Okay, guys, we got the stove lit. It's burning hot. I need to get some water here to cook our meal. Directions on this meal that I'm cooking. Uh, it's a freeze-dried, dehydrated meal. It says I need about 14 ounces of water, and that's pretty good. One thing I will tell you is you do not want to put the Elite AT stove kit pot on the stove without water in it. It will get too hot and ruin the aluminum pot. So I've got the water on six to eight minutes. That water will be at a rolling boil and ready for our meal. Let me explain the pot to you real quick. It has a thick type material wrapped around it so that you can grab the pot and it not burn you when, it, when you have hot food or, or boiling water in it. Also has a lip guard around the top of it that uh, prevents you from burning your lips. If you make you some cowboy coffee or, or some type of an instant coffee and you wanna drink or eat right out of the pot, that's a, it's a lip guard that does well. This is the lid off of the, off of the pot with a wooden knob on it that sits on there 
and, 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 and does a great job. Things tend to boil quicker with the lid on it. If you notice the flat black paint, it's a stove type paint um, that helps conduct heat and it, it actually gets hotter much quicker. So in six to eight minutes, we should have boiling water for our meal. Okay guys, we're almost at a boil here. It's been about six minutes. I'm gonna have some uh, Southwest chili today. It's a freeze dried dehydrated meal from Coleman. And uh, you know, a lot of these meals like this, you guys know you, you may use, I think we're boiling now on our stove here. Let me check this out. Um, yeah, we've got a good strong rolling boil. You may even be able to hear it, but it's, it's, it's plenty hot enough for, for what we have to do here. What I was going to say was a lot of these meals, you, you mix them right in the bag and you zip lock them back closed and it's kind of a pain to eat out of the bag. I, I don't like doing that. Um, and that's why I like this stove kit so much. I'm going to open this up and prepare it and show you how I like to do this. I use the, the kit that the stove comes in, the containers. I measured my water in this earlier. I'm going to put all of the Southwest chili contents into the four cup container. And this rascal is hard to open. And I'm going to get all the con contents in there. And uh, my water's boiling. It's a rolling boil. I'm going to take it off the stove. And the amount of water that they called for is what I initially put in there. So I have put all the water in. I don't want to put that pot back on the stove because it's now empty. I'm going to stir this meal up just to make sure that uh, it's got that spice packet and everything mixed together. And then I'm going to take and put the the top back on it there's my meal it should be ready and well i don't remember exactly what it says i believe it said let it stand for approximately seven to ten minutes so uh we'll be back in seven to ten minutes to see how it tastes okay guys it's been seven to ten minutes my southwest chili is uh I've stirred it a couple of times, and I'm going to stir it up again. It's got what looks like a pinto bean and a black bean and corn and maybe some tomatoes or some kind of a chili pepper. You can really smell the chili powder in it. Let's see how this is. It's awfully hot. Well, it's not mom's cooking. But it'll keep me warm and keep me fat and happy this evening. I want y'all to remember Blue Ridge Ultralight Stove Works and their Ultralight Elite AT Stove Kit. $39.95 on their website. It's a really good deal for ultralight camping, hiking, fishing, and hunting trips. Thank you.